The Kano State Government together with Sasakawa Africa Association SAA, Kano State Agricultural and Rural Development Authority NADA, Kano State Agro-Pastoral Development Project KSADP and other stakeholders organized a formal launch of the Agricultural Intervention Programs funded by Lives and Livelihood Funds LLF, Islamic Development Bank ISDB. The day's event was witnessed by the Kano State Governor His Excellency Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, his Deputy Dr. Nasiru Yusuf Gawuna, Managing Director Nada Dr. Junaidu Yakubu and many dignitaries. The Sasakawa Africa Association team was led by Professor Sani Miko. Uh, the headquarters of Sasakawa instructed me to convey a special gratitude for Kano State Government for the kind of support Kano State Government has been given to Sasakawa since its inception in Nigeria in 1992. I would like to extend my invitation to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, in our 35th anniversary, which is coming on the 2nd of December in Abuja. Because of your position and the impact of your support to Sasakawa Africa Association, we are extending this invitation to you as a special host to our anniversary. Thank you and God bless. Uh, we are here uh, to witness the launch of several interventions uh, by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State. Uh, part of this uh, agricultural interventions that His Excellency is launching here in NADA, uh, you can hear from them that KSADP under Sasakawa have also supported a total of 5,350 smallholder commercial farmers with a grant of 30% of input they need per hectare. And apart from supporting those farmers uh, at the level of Sasakawa, we have also supported those that are in agro-processing. We have established six rice mills and six local government for women uh, processors. We are also extending support to 45 women groups on also power boiling, improved rice power boiling. As you can see, you can see their inputs here. And apart from that, we are also supporting farmers with some pre and post-harvest post -harvest mechanizations. You can see simple planters here. You can see harvesters here. You can see reapers here. You can see treasures here. You can see mess shellers here. These are part of some few things that we are doing uh, regarding the pre and post-harvest support to the farmers under KSADP. So Sasakawa is well recognized for what it is doing and uh, I would like to close this uh, remark by expressing my sincere uh, congratulations to Islamic Development Bank and uh, Lives and Livelihood Funds, the funders of this project. And at the same time, I would also like to congratulate the Kano State Government because Kano State Government is also a key partner and is actually, uh, the, the, actually the body that we are working with directly. So I would also, at this note, like to also congratulate Sasakawa, my organization, for achieving this milestone within a year. And I would like to also give them assurance that we will continue to strive, we will continue to do our best so as we can transform the agricultural production system, the seed production system, in accordance to the objective of the project and also objective of the organization. Thank you very much. While speaking, Dr. Nuradin Mohammed, who is one of the beneficiaries of KSADP SAA project, produced rice and maize. He added that he has cultivated 25 hectares of maize and 15 hectares of rice. The farmer was giving improved seeds, fertilizer, herbicides, pesticides, and most importantly, guidance from the trained extension agents on the proper ways to apply the technology. He said they have gotten more yield through the KSADP, SAA intervention than his previous years of farming and they have never seen a successful intervention like this, be it from federal or state government. Mun samu taki 
sannan kuma mun samu guidance daga malaman gunan da suke tattara da sazakawa kwarai da gaske mun ga alfanin abubuwan da ake mana saboda mun ga mun ga mun samu amfani sosai fiye da abin da da muke samu ban taba samun tallafin da ya kai wannan daga wata hukuma ko ta jaha ko ta gwamnatin tarayya kamar yadda na samu daga nada ba su ne wa Allah godiya ne wa hukumar na da godiya sannan kuma ina godiya daga gwamnatin jihar Kano wanda an ce da ita da Islamic Development Bank suka hada guiwa suka ba mu wannan tallafi Allah ya saka da alheri The managing director of NADA Dr. Yakubu presented that to His Excellency Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje the support that 5350 farmer benefited from 30% of the inputs they are going to use rain. Uh, this is uh, your excellency the support that we are giving to the farmers about 5350 of them in collaboration with NADA Sasakawa and the uh, KSADP project 5350 farmers were supported. Was, uh, this is for small scale commercial rice producers where we give them 30% of the total input they are going to use. This is uh, Madama uh, Ab Abu. Yeah, he's a rice farmer, he's into rice production in Garamala local government. Yes, so this is our input and we also not only supporting her in the area of rice production, we are also supporting them in the area of the processing of this rice. That is why we give them a uh, power boiler as well as some of the chemical fertilizers and the granules uh, 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 urea 5,350 farmers across the Potipo local governments in the state we are not only supporting for rice production we have the maize production different value chain of agricultural produce in producing the state thank you very much your excellency project is a five year project we are started uh, the entry in bits that is to say we start with just 20 local governments in the first year which is 2021 in 2022 we hope to cover the entire portico local government and in this 2021 we work with only 112500 farmers this is the target however in the course by implementation we are able to reach uh, 114000 uh, 500 per month, which is much above what we even intend to reach uh, this particular year. So in the next year, we are going to try to cover the entire portico local government, and at the same time, we are going to cover the entire 450 direct beneficiaries across the portico local government. And at the same time, this project also has a target of an indirect beneficiaries that are amounting to around 2 million uh, farmers that we are going to reach uh, within the period of the implementation of this project. And also we want to thank the Western government for this opportunity, for this confidence and for them to be able to have that uh, confidence in us that we can be able to deliver. Sasaka Africa Association has been working in Nigeria in the last uh, three decades. In the last 30 years, precisely in 1991, we have been working in Nigeria and there is no any local government that we have not touched uh, over this period when we are doing our own operations. However, with this booster, with this uh, support from the state government and with this partnership, and with the money provided but to us by the state government uh, through uh, the support from NLF and also Islamic Development but we assured His Excellency and the people of Kano State Government that we are going to multiply our effort. We are going to do better what we know how to do. We are going to try and work day and night to make sure that the target, the aspirations, the hope and the scope and the objective of the projects are fully achieved. We thank uh, the state government for this opportunity and we thank the Kano people for the cooperation and we thank the farmers for their hard working and for their own resilience. Also while giving his remark the governor of Kano state thanks Asakawa Africa Association on the good work to the people of Kano and urge them to continue building on the strong foundation they have laid in the country over the years. We cannot talk about the achievement of agriculture in Kano without bringing Sasakawa into the fold. 